Coming up on LGC, episode 14, Open Free Space 2, How To. Let's go. Need two things open free space to data files in wine so let's go ahead and get the data files I've chosen to use good old games.com where you can pick up free space 2 for 599 well granted you'll end up with an executable that only runs under Windows but this works perfectly for our purpose In my FreeSpace2 folder that I've created on my desktop, we have FreeSpace2.exe. Now we need to make that executable. chmod plus x stall.exe. Now let's run one. Okay. Now, since we only need the data files, we're going to install this directly into our free space 2 folder that I've created on the desktop. In this case, it will be under home vin. Desktop free space 2. Now you'll see it's trying to create its own free space 2 directory. I'm going to remove that so it will install directly into our FS2 folder. On the start, you get a bit of a warning. Override that, click yes. Okay, that part's done. We don't want to launch it, let's exit out. We'll minimize this. All we need all the files in the main directory that end with VP. So let's clear everything else out. Now I've left the original installer and FreeSpace open installer. It's a jar file. We'll get to that in a moment. Now, the current version of FS2 open is 3.6.12. You can download that for Linux, but you can see it's screaming about using the automated installer. I'm running a stock Ubuntu 10.10 .10 box, so let's try this automated installer. Looks nice. Completely unusable. Able to resize the screen in order to access the next and forward buttons. It's rubbish. So let's do it the hard way. I mean, it's not really that hard. We'll download the Linux version, which is a bzip tar file. Now well, let's extract these to our FreeSpace2 folder. It'll be on the desktop. No. We can't launch the game just yet. We have to add two things. Let's create a new folder and we'll call it dot fs2 underscore open. Let's go into the folder. And we're going to create a new file. And we'll call it fs2 
to underscore open dot INI. Now in this file we need to add two lines. Let's open it with the text editor. The first line being default. Literally. And the second line is a bit longer. It's telling it to use the OpenGL and to set your resolution. You can change that to whatever you want, but you don't need to do it here. We'll cover that in part two, once we install the launcher. So for now, let's save it. Go back to our FreeSpace 2 directory and launch the game. You can play the stock version now. Now, part two. Launcher and mods. You need to get the launcher from Vega, LiveCD.pl, Tilda, Hanva, Yale, Linux. This will be in the show notes. So let's go ahead and download the bin file. I've done that already. Let's go in here. And we're going to extract the entire contents into our FreeSpace 2 folder. OK. If we do an ls, you will see we now have the FreeSpace 2 launcher. So let's fire that up. It's a bit of a warning. You'll get that the first time you start it. OK. And you will see that the launcher has already found the correct executable. And from here, you can adjust your screen resolution color depth, audio settings, joystick settings, network performance, and features. And we'll cover that in just a bit. Let's click OK. Because now we're going to install the high-resolution textures. It's the Media VP. This makes the game look like it was not released. ten years ago. Now you'll find the URL to the form post in the show notes, so don't worry about that, but we'll go ahead and download it. You'll have Media VPS, and we're going to extract that folder directly into the FS2 folder. Let's close that out. Now, let's open our launcher once more. OK, from here, we're going to add a mod, which is our media VP. Now, to activate everything, you'll need to go to Feature. There's a couple of checkboxes that will need to be clicked. I've already done this. Specular, Glow Maps, Environment Maps, Lighting the Missiles, and 3D Shock Waves. And that's for your graphics. You can enable normal maps if your system supports it. Now for gameplay, you want to enable 3D Warp and enable Flash upon Warp. And audio preload mission game sounds. For the last bit, you have to manually enter this. You'll add it into your custom flags area. This will also be in the show notes, so don't worry about trying to copy it down from the video. But that's it.